Hi guys, we are Club, Club Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Mouse. And you're watching Hollywire TV. Hey guys, Carly here. What is going on? I am hanging on the set of Club Mickey Mouse. Hi guys. Hey. So excited for you. So if you just want to introduce yourselves and tell us a fun fact about you. Hey guys, my name is Brianna Mazzola. I'm 17 years old. And a fun fact about me is that I sketch fashion outfits and style things for fun. <laughs> Hello, my name is Will Simmons, AKA Big Will. I'm 17 years old and a fun fact, I have over 50 hats. My name is Kai Baldwin. I'm 16 years old from Sydney, Australia. And before I was performing, I traveled the world playing soccer. My name is Jenna Alvarez. I'm 15 years old. And a fun fact about me is I'm allergic to peanuts, <laughs> soy, rice, cone, Corn, sorry, <laughs> corn, oats, <laughs> and sriracha, so yeah. My name is Sean Oliu, I'm 15 years old, and a uh, fun fact about me is I lived in Mexico for two years. What's up guys, my name is Leanne Tessa, I'm 17 years old, and a fun fact is that I'm multiracial. Hello everyone, my name is Gabe DeGuzman, I'm 16 years old, and a fun fact about myself is before I started dance, I tried softball and t-ball. I'm Reagan Aliyah, I'm 18 years old, and I still can't ride a bike. I can tell you guys have so much fun together. Can you share any funny moments from behind the scenes on set? One of my favorite moments was when Mickey Mouse actually came to see us on Crazy. set. When we were doing a theme song, everyone freaked out. Me and Jenna Stop were flipping it. and saw him first and we're like, ah, that's him right there. Can you guys share any behind the scenes secrets? Anything that would surprise someone that's watching the series? Mm. We literally have like, I don't think we have really any secrets about what we do because it's just all in the open. Yeah. yeah. But if you want somebody to create a secret, you go to Jenna. Our producer came up to me one day, pulled me aside and said, Jenna, are there any romances going on within the group? Like, mm. tell me, I have a feeling right. it's Sean and Bree. And I was like, you know what? Um, it's actually Leanne and Sean. <laughs> 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 Um, it's so cool you guys are a part of the Disney family. Are there any Disney stars past or present that really inspire you guys? Zendaya, she lives. I retweet yeah. every picture she posts, every comment that she makes. She's just so like, I could, I could just look up to her in so many ways. I got a little old school one, um, Hilary Duff. She's one of those people who's stayed out of trouble. She never, you know, got hooked on the limelight and she always, you know, kept herself together and she's a mom now. She's killing it. I'm gonna say for me, it would have to be my favorite twins, Dylan and Cole Sprout. True. I grew up True. watching that show over and, and over and over. I used to measure time <laughs> by how long A Sweet Life of Zack and Cody show was. So I'd be, you know, funny story would be like, I'd be like, Dad, when are you coming home from work? You know, I miss you. And he'd be like, all right, I'll be home in three Sweet Life of Zack and Cody shows. <laughs> you guys write and sing and choreograph the songs yourself, right? Talk to yeah. me a little bit about that process. That's so cool. We like split up in our little pods and we sit in a room, at least for writing. And I remember the first song, The Something to Fight For, we literally filled up all the whiteboards in the conference room. And for dancing, you know, for us being choreographers, we would just, you know, freestyle, you know, fill out the song, and then we start breaking it down right away. And we're like, okay, let's do this move and this move, and let's put this stuff together. It's all collaboration, and it's really finding inspiration in things. Like for us, we have like a '90s piece, so we had to really do our research for the dance moves for that. And we were like, does this fit in here, or does that fit in here? So it's all about <laughs> really finding the inspiration in the song, or just like dancing. Yeah. There was an intention that we had for every single piece that we were working on, and. It was more of a vibe thing. So if somebody was really feeling it in that minute and they were like, oh, I got an idea. Oh, I have this. Like, they were, we got Gabe and Jenna and Will, they were coming in on the songwriting sessions and they were like, this could be really cool. And I was like, all right, like I see you. You know, it was more of just like, if you felt it, you kind of just did it. And then we just vibed off of that. And then eventually we got a lot of great content. So Now you guys have mentors that come on the show too, right? Talk to me a little bit about that. We worked with Todrick. Um, every, like every time we talk about him, I literally just say iconic. His work ethic is something to be admired. Like when you see him in his element, it makes you like strive to be better because you see like how he came from the beginning of his YouTube to now being on Broadway. It's, it's insane. On top of what Reagan said, he's just one of those people that genuinely no matter what he does, he's inspiring. <laughs> like he gives constructive criticism, he gives you compliments, he gives you all the things that you need to push you over that line, that boundary that you think you have in your head. Are there any dream mentors you would have? Like who would be your dream mentor um. for the next season? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? The previous ones of Muskets here is like, 
if Christina and Brittany and Justin and Ryan just decided to like walk in on set one day, I'd be really cool with that. Also, wouldn't be too upset if Beyonce or Jesse J decided to just casually stroll on set. Totally fine. We wouldn't mind it. And I get the feeling this is a dream come true for a lot of you guys. What advice would you give to other kids who are younger than you that maybe want to follow in your footsteps and make their dreams come true? Me personally, I want to say to never give up on your dreams. Keep going for it. Keep fighting. Keep going for that passion because if you love it, you will keep doing it and you will make it. Don't forget to stay grounded and remember where you came from because you wouldn't be here without the people who supported you along the way, like your parents, your mentors, and everyone. So be extremely grateful to them because without them, you wouldn't be where you are and who you are. It literally doesn't matter where you come from, where you grew up, your battles and your struggles. If you have a common goal and something that you want to achieve, Go after that 100%, no matter like who around you says, well, you come from here, you can't do that. You say, honey, yes, I can and I will. <laughs> Imperfections are your perfections. The things that make you different are the things that make you perfect. On that note, will you guys show me your go-to dance moves? Sure. I don't know any of the, the names of dances, but what I will say, something I learned on set, you just always got bop to everything. You know what I mean, right? Right? You know, you just, you gotta go with the rhythm, baby. Hey. Probably be like crumping, but um, besides that, really. <laughs> My go to is usually the amphib, like the little bounce. And then you can do like little, you don't have to do all the arms, you can do like the little rock, you know? Oh, oh didn't it? <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thank you. We'll see you guys soon. All right. <laughs> We are the Musketeers and we proudly wear our ears. We mouse it, eh, eh. We mouse it, eh, eh. And we are the Musketeers and we proudly wear our ears. We mouse it, eh, eh. We mouse it, eh, eh. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. Club Mickey Mouse